What's up, crypto kids, blockchain, BitsGap crew? How y'all doing today? Today, I'm coming at you from BitsGap. I know it's been a while, but I uh, just wanted to come on and uh, show kind of what I'm doing, give you a look at some of my current bots and kind of my thinking behind it. Um, now, there's different ways to set up these bots. There are very aggressive ways that you can go about it, and um, generally, that's what I do. I go pretty freaking aggressive. Um, and try to earn a lot of points or, you know, a lot of percentages and get your daily percentage way up high. Um, but currently that's been a little bit, you know, you have to reset a lot. The market's been so volatile and so crazy and everything has been suffering so bad and bleeding out against the dollar. Um, and a lot of that is, you know, as the government keeps printing out more and more money, even when they claim to be tapering, even though they're not, the balance sheet, you know, <laughs> just keeps going up. Um, you know, what they're holding on their balance sheet keeps going up and they can't get rid of it, right? I mean, it's like, how are they going to taper? How are they going to taper their own balance sheet when you would have to sell it at a cheaper rate than what the you, the open, what well, you could buy it for on the open market? So the whole like, you know, Fed saying they're going to balance, you know, taper their balance sheet, they can't. <laughs> they, they're not in a position to do that. And as the government keeps printing out more and more money, all these other governments out there that are also you know part of the imf and the you know and the powers that be and the whole economic system they have to print more money right because we're an importing we're an importing nation they're an exporting nation if they're the value of their currency versus ours is depreciated in any you know significant way they're losing huge amounts of money right huge amounts of money so as we print more money if we print more money they have no choice but to print more money or pay, you know, or lose in your um, losing your trades, you know, from country. If if any country was not to weaken their dollar, weaken their their currency as we weaken ours, generally the you know all the businesses in that country are going to start protesting like, hey, you got to weaken our currency to get back in line with the dollar, and that's why we stay the the sweetest rotten apple in the bunch because everyone else is forced to print more money as we print more money. And that's why we stay the greatest apple in the basket. And it's going to continue that way because they the world has so much dollar denominated debt, right? And you have to service that debt. And so therefore you have to hold dollars and you can't just hold on to your own currency, especially if the dollar is getting stronger because you're going to have to spend a lot more of your currency to buy those dollars in order to service that debt. It's a great scheme we got going and we've got the world by the balls and it's, you know, it's like the last throws of trying to keep our uh, <laughs> world reserve currency intact. But what we're doing now, all right, dollar's going to be pretty strong, right? We, we kind of put that together now, even though they're printing it out of existence and, you know, dumping as much dollars into the world economy as they can, as long as they have debt throughout the world denominated in dollars, everyone else will have to continue to print more money as we print money, leaving us one of the best bat, you know, one of the best apples in the rotten apple basket. <laughs> so dollars probably going to remain strong. I'm not trading um, dollars too much as, as of now, especially with these bots, unless you're looking for a quick in and get out, right? Like you're trying to stack up more of your, of a certain currency. And that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm going to go over two different ways to kind of go about this. So with the, um, you know, the putting everything tight, having um you know lots of grids letting it run out quickly grabbing high percentages we're not going over that today that's kind of the the past method of and, and it works great in bull markets bull markets is a great way to scrape out massive profits right you know put your make focus your liquidity into some tight tight little range like say from here to here instead of way up here to here you know just a simple little focus like in this little range and that's the best way to earn massive quick percentages but what i'm doing here is i'm spreading my grids way out or i'm setting up a grid with just a couple green lines wanting it to run out because i'm just trying to grab more of 
this currency here, right? The currencies you see here. So Adam, I would, if I wanted more Adam, wanted more FTM, I'm using the fact that Bitcoin is going to remain stronger than these other currencies. The dollar is going to remain stronger than these other currencies. And generally KCS is going to remain stronger than these other currencies. And what I'm trying to do is gather up more of these while the market goes down, right? So if we're somewhere in here and I set up a grid like well, let's just go pick any old bot. Let's grab this BTT bot here. BTT is only tradable against USDT currently. And I got a bunch of dollars here, so I don't want to do that. Let's go to um, what's KSM against BTC and USDT. We'll do this KSM real quick. So what you can do here, right? Like if I'm looking to stay in the market, you know, greatly at this point. And the reason we're not using like high frequency trading bots is because from here, I think those are fantastic way to get into the market. Once you have, you know, put in a five frequency trading bot coming up here, start a new bot, go to the high frequency trading bot and just run it starting with whatever, you know, your bottom currency, BTC or USDT and let it run out. And you'll end up with as much, in my opinion, a much larger amount of currency. I mean, I've tested it a whole bunch of times. And then after that, go to grid bots. So high frequency trading bots, these ones here are a great way to the scalper bot, is a great way to come into the market. But after you're already in the market, you already have those, you know, the altcoin that you're looking for or the altcoin you're looking to gather, uh, the scalper bot's not necessarily the, your best way. Combo bot's not bad, classic's working great, S bot, that's the one we're really looking for. Now this DCA bot, it's a great little bot, but it's still in beta. And so it's kind of a use at your own risk, but it's also one of those that very much like the scalper bot, it's good if you're coming in with dollars or Bitcoin or Ethereum or one of the base currencies, right? One of these lower ones here, right? Not the top or top currency that you're looking to collect. So on that DCA bot, or they might call it the buy the dip bot and, you know, reading about it, it's, it's a great bot and they're, but they're just, you know, they're kind of new into it. Pinex has this one a little bit more figured out and it seems like they're kind of going that route and trying to like, you know, actually optimize it even more and give you some different options it seems like it's going to be a great bot when they got it all settled but uh we're going to stick with what we're doing for now so we're basically creating the same type of bot right so we're here on K ksm btc now what i was saying if you wanted to run out now it's important when you're doing this style is to write down what you're starting with right we're starting with 20.18 ksm write that down get yourself a little list or you know a notepad or whatever and write down what your currency is because what you're trying to do is gather more of this ksm not less so you want to know if it actually works right and so a quick way to do this would be just to sell a couple lines into btc and let it run down it's going to trade around a little bit. It's going to trade, going to trade up and down, trade up and down. And eventually, when BTC pumps, this should run this out. And if you leave your trailing up, you can, you know, it's up to you whether you want to leave the trailing up on or off. If you go into the trailing up, obviously, it's going to take this BTC and start flipping it and moving it up here. But you might just want to wait that out for this style of what I'm saying here. And you definitely don't want a trailing down on, which they got rid of the trailing down anyway because most people couldn't understand it and most people were losing money. And uh, it's really an advanced tool. You should have to like send in a permission slip and ask them to have trailing down. But they got rid of it for everybody because too many people couldn't understand it and they're getting their lunches ate, right? So two choices what we got here. The two different ways I would set up a bot in this down market. An extremely wide, wide bot, such as something along those lines. Like, great way to start a bot here. <laughs> 39 grids, 1.14. It's going to fluctuate. You're going to trade. It's going to be little micro trades. You're not going to be like up over 1% like we're looking at in the past. But you get these steady increases. And as it fluctuates down, as BTC price goes up compared to to the other coin or as the other coin drops more than BTC, you're going to be trading around, trading around, trading around, and you're going to end up with a lot more of the altcoin when it's when the thing runs out and then you can reset it or not. You can leave it wide like this and let it run, let it run, let it run, and it'll run for a long time. 
or you could come and put it close like this here and just setting up a couple grids and then as this runs around you will you know it will come down and you'll earn a little bit more you'll have instead of 20 ksn you might have 20.5 ksn you run it again you might have 21 run it again you might have 22 and you keep you could do these with all of these cryptos and when the market recovers and we go back into a bearish phase that's going to be your time to sell you're going to have a whole bunch more that you gathered up by trading around when the market was down and gathering up as much of these cryptos as you know have the altcoin as you can so let's go ahead and set one of these we'll set this right here i like it 32 grids 1.14 spacing we're on ksm btc we're starting out with 20.18 ksm let me write that on my list okay got that written down and so we're gonna start it and let it just run on out of there right and so it's only gonna trade a very small amount of ksm here for my BTC and like I showed you I am really just trying to gather up more KSM and we'll see how this turns out so we got that one starting we'll start another one and we'll do it with the wider grids and you know the let it trade around a whole bunch of grids let's do that one with ADA we'll go with ADA and we'll swap that around with okay our bot started it's all starting up we'll look at that in a second so we're gonna do another one with ada and we'll do that one with kcs as well kcs is extremely been extremely strong actually <laughs> so not a bad thing to do let's go ahead and spread this out a little ways we'll put a 1.129 spacing 26 grids Got this one way spaced out. Going to let it trade around a whole bunch. Don't want to get rid of too much of it, but that looks like a nice. And this will trade for a long time. You know, this will fluctuate. It'll move up and down. I'm going to leave the trailing up on and just let it trade away. So we'll start this one as well. So we started a couple with. And, you know you can even go farther down if it was bitcoin i probably would do that like drop that price even farther but we got a whole bunch of grids on this one looking to trade for a long time on the ksm btc one we have a whole bunch of grids but very few of that bottom grid very little of the btc because we want it to dump it all into btc and then back into ksm in short order giving us more ksm on the ada one we're gonna let that one run for a good long while and just trade away and it's probably not gonna dump it too soon so your two choices again i'll go over one more time btc or whatever it is you use on that bottom um crypto you just give a couple lines only right you just just a couple little lines and we could do that here with um link btc we'll do that really quick as well So we're just going to give a little bit of it to BTC. I'm going to keep the rest all in chain link. And we want it just to run on down through that thing, right? Give that a 1.14. 13 grids, not bad. I think I'll take it up to 15. Give me one more, two more grids of BTC. I think it will eat that up no problem. And so here I am starting out with... 59.97 link we're gonna try to gather up more of that link right okay so start that bot it's gonna sell just the tiniest little bit of our link down here into btc and we're hoping that that btc runs it on you know trades around a little bit but then runs it on down and puts it all back into link leaving us with more link than what we started with right which is the whole point and I've got all these bots set up this way with extremely large grid spacings for some of them. Look at this, 54 grids here on this Win TRX, 58 grids on NFT TRX. And these are TRX derivatives. So TRX has been very strong. And I've just been letting this thing, letting these trade away with these really, really wide spacings. 
and you can see it's not it's not even coming close to uh, touching any of my spacings but I'm just gaining up little pips it's grabbing up you know as it as the price goes up it's selling on the red dots as the price goes down it's buying on the green dots and I'm just gonna let this accumulate a whole bunch of the alts and when this we finally moon I'm gonna have a whole bunch of alts to get to you know make me rich in the uh <laughs> in the bull run so there's all that hope you guys are doing good i hope you got lots of mad profits falling in your lap i hope you're working this you know in some way that's very profitable let me know what you're doing what your uh what your strategies are if you are interested in bits gap and you want to start collecting um you know gathering up more getting yourself set for the bull phase by gathering up a bunch of um alts now and trading while this is down in the low and going about these things um like i said if you do join bitsgap i'll give you a free entry into a private signals group that's pretty damn awesome so um yeah anyway use my link come over to telegram let me know say hey i joined under you um can i get into the signals group and i'll get you in that signals group for free and if you got any questions we'll try to answer them as best we can links are all in the description hope you guys got mad profit falling in your laps catch you on the next one crypto music i'm out